Hi everyone and welcome to this amazing session of newly qualified What's Next. So just want to apologize for the delay, but um, I've got my special guest here today, Hala, and she's going to share with you some of her experiences and I'm also going to share with you my experiences on how to succeed as a newly qualified pharmacist. So I just want to take this opportunity first of all to welcome Hala. Hala, thanks for coming. Um, uh, hello Marvin, thank you for hosting me today. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Um, I would like to thank you all today as well for being live on Facebook. We do apologize, there were some technical problems. We have a team over here helping us with that. Hello everyone. Um, yeah, so today we're just going to talk what's next and I'm very delighted to be your uh, guest today. Thank you, so, thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to interview you, Hala, is that okay? Uh, yeah, I think I'm so. just going to ask you some questions and then at the end we could probably take some questions from the viewers, alright? Yeah. So let's go. So my first question to you, Hala, mm -hmm. Hope not is, have difficult ones. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me um, two top tips to succeed as a newly qualified pharmacist? Um, in my opinion, I think so. it's really important to have a supportive network. Uh, what I mean by supportive network, that can be, for example, the, one, the first 100 days are the quiet hardest day, especially when we qualify as a new, new pharmacist. So probably we have the RPS Foundation framework. They are really amazing because they really help with uh, the first 100 days uh, of being qualified as a pharmacist. And as well, we have other networks like the RPS Facebook as yeah. well. We can join that. And the other tip is we're always learning. We always learn, so we're always there to learn. Going to conferences, doing more CPDs. So that's what I'm still learning. I'm applying for my IP course, and I'll be starting that in September. So that's another thing today I heard about from one of my colleagues talking about IP courses. Yeah. So he's listening to me right yeah. now. <laughs> what a great session! It's IP yeah. course. Yeah. Thank you, Ami, for that. So, so one thing I'm really interested in is how do you cope with the nerves you know, on the first day at work? How do you cope with the nerves, Alan? Um, I consider myself quite lucky because um, I had my first locum position when I qualified okay. with my place of work where I worked before. So I know this stuff, they were quite supportive, um, uh, you know, they're quite helpful as well. So it's like the first always step is quite difficult, it's not easy, mm -hmm. but we have to try to, to, to be like quite, to tell the people that we're working with, yeah. this is our first day, um, especially when you put the notice that you're the pharmacist over there. So yeah, we try to, to, to adjust. Yeah. And that's the always like thing to go forward. I mean, that's my personal view. I don't know what's yours. Yeah, thoughts. I mean personally, um, similar experiences. When I when I first the first that work, I was quite nervous. But what I found work for me was I created rapport with the staff. So the fact that I could really bond and have this good relationship with the staff it made things easier for me. So that as was teamwork, what yeah. helped me <laughs> as well. Okay. So uh, another thing I really get um, I sort of got challenged with was accreditations because now there's yeah. such a big demand to have all this accreditation so which ones work for you or which ones would you recommend <clears throat> So I think so. The first and foremost, we have to do the medicine news reviews, which is I mean I've done my by the midway, yeah. but as well we have the CPP as well provide an amazing uh, um, accreditation for MUAs. We have the new medicine services as yeah. well, and then we have of course repeat dispensing, and we have smoking cessation, and we have as well uh, minor ailments. Mm. Uh, we have uh, flu jabs. So my colleague, one of my colleagues as well, have the www.flujab.co.uk. Um, mm. They offer as well good services for food jobs that's where I've done mine and of course don't forget your DBS um, yeah DBS yeah that's that's, that's quite important isn't yeah. it? I, know, I know you've got my local choice <laughs> that does yeah. a lot of things on DBS and flu vaccinations as well so that's that's quite and what important. else as well um, we have as well to do um, other accreditation as well the summary care records the patient center care the vulnerable patients your SOPs in place yeah. so of course your um, insurance you have sure. to be insured before you even start the first step. Yeah. Don't go there without being insured. <laughs> All right, you guys heard it. You need to get insured. Okay, um, so Hala, tell me, what, what was your greatest challenge when you qualified? My greatest challenge was um, starting to be, I mean, before we were mentored. Yeah. So we have our tutor always there, checking our work behind us, mm -hmm. always yeah. there to help us, always there to support us, putting us in different positions. Yeah. And then you, you step out from this position to a position yes. where you're responsible. I'm talking here about community pharmacy, of course. 
but mm. we have other new sectors. That's right, yes. So, you know, we have now pharmacists in GP practice, we have um, care homes, we have a &E, we have urgent care, so and you name it. Yeah. So, uh, pharmacists involved in more than one role, and I think so we have to know how to get out of that comfort zone yeah. into the real world, and to be able to solve those problems, yeah. and of course, professional judgments. So that's my view. I don't know what's yours, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you're, you're answering all the questions. That's, <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. You know, you're just saying all my answers as well. But yeah, definitely. I think my challenge, obviously, when you qualify, is when you're a pre-reg, you have that safety net of having your tutor. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I walked in on the first day, and I looked behind me, and uh, I was the responsible pharmacist. So it's making that. Switch. And how many times do we have to check that first prescription that we have in our first hand? Oh Although nice. it's a simple prescription, but one like item, and you spend about thirty <laughs> minutes for one item. <laughs> yeah. So take your time. Don't rush things around, and just like take the day as it goes. Yes. And then, of course, by time the first one hundred days, we're always learning. And right. just always learn. 100 days? Yeah? Yeah, first 100 days. But Hi of course, guys, we're always learning. 100 days, stick to 100. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but then, of course, after that, as I told you, now I'm trying to do my new IP course, which is going to start in September. That means I'm always learning. Learning. Yeah, to provide good care for our patients. Fantastic. Now, talking about you always learning, yeah. one thing that has always amazed me about you, Hala, is you've been qualified for not such a long period compared to most farms, but you've achieved so much in such a short time. And you got what was it um, an award pharmacy or a face of pharmacy that was yeah, and I was then how do you how how did you get involved and get so recognized in such a short period of time um um i think so i love what i do i do everything with my heart because i love what i do so when you love what you do you give so you give mm -hmm. more and more and you learn and of course i have like a very amazing supportive people i mean i have an amazing team like today we have around five people here behind the cameras no one is seeing them right now but thank you guys, all of you, for being here and supporting us for the network. Thank you. <laughs> See, here we are. We have a big team behind Great. us. So I can't do anything without anyone. We'll work together, I think, so at the end of the day. Right. We've had a very interesting workshop today. Yeah. And one thing that became so apparent to me was the skills that you need to have. It's not just about knowledge. Yeah. But you need to have certain skills to succeed. So what would you say were the personal skills that helped you to get to where you are? So first and foremost, today's workshop, just to have some comments, every single person today came and talked, and the way they talk, they give you something new. Yeah. So for example, your, your presentation was about motivation, and you can see the, the, uh, I mean, the people that was watching you today, they were so interactive with you, so you yeah. gave them something new. I mean, and we have uh, uh, Amir as well, Amit? Amit. Amit to spell yeah. it right as well he gave us like loads of feedback and loads of yeah. like things to see what we're looking into and of course we have Muhammad as well. so everyone gave us a different thing and they work in different and all of them are productive people so for me were um, the first one was communication skills, communication skills. Um, okay. I love talking to people I like communication skills and the other one is problem solving so when you are there you have to be quick you have to to, to, yeah. to, to, to deal with problems um, use your professional judgments and I think so these are the first two tips for myself I don't know what is it right. for you as well well, so uh, I mean, same thing. I mean, com communication is, is very important with everyone yourself, your f members of the team, and then other healthcare professionals. We're talking about doctors, nurses. So, yeah, communication and yeah, just building that rapport yeah. with people and making sure that you obviously give back. You work as hard as you can. I think working hard, hard work was probably one of the keys that made me win over today. a lot of support yeah. from the staff. And one thing that I, I believe in is as long as you can do everything, people respect you. So I'm not one of those pharmacists that sits and says, I'm not going to answer the phone, that's not my job, or I'm yeah. not going to go on the counter. But we I have think, to do everything. Do everything, yeah. and that's what encourages everyone else. Fantastic. So in terms of um, support, as yeah. I said, my, my challenge was I didn't have my pre-reg tutor when I walked in. Now, what sort of support do you recommend that you can use um, that can help farm, newly qualified yeah. pharmacists when they're on their own? Um, so, for example, you have the MPA if you're working in a community pharmacy. So, once I was working there, they're quite effective and efficient. So, they answer the phone quickly, they give you the response that you need. Uh, you have as well like the RPS, uh, yeah. you have loads of different like networks. You have your friends sometimes, yeah. like you know, your friends, your colleagues. Like, we have yeah. the RPS newly qualified people. If you have any problems, people are there to help you. Yeah. And that's really important to build that network because, um, for example, I'm on the LPF of Surrey. Uh, okay. Our, um, network so I'm um, on different networks because you know we're always there to help each other and everyone at some point needs some help and support and I think so that's what we're aiming for for help and support from each other fantastic 
So an, another thing is obviously we had a great pass rate. Yeah. Ninety five percent. So congratulations. Ninety five percent. But we still had a percentage of students that didn't make it. Yeah. Now, have you ever failed an exam and what, what sort of advice can you give to those that uh, do not pass? Uh, we, we fail. I mean, everyone fails in their life. Whatever the failure is, we all fail. But the important thing in life is to learn from that failure. It's not to make it as a point that tells us back. It might be at the time quite sad and like we're not happy about because we failed, but we learn. So by how can we achieve the failure, how we can overcome that failure is go and ask those people who succeeded. Yeah. Say, what did you do? How did you pass? They will help us. They see maybe we are like missing on a few points that we don't know about and they are there to help us. And I think so that by connecting to people and say we've done like wrong thing or you know something happened or something went wrong or circumstances or whatever the reason was, yeah. there's some people there. Even we have the pharmacy support, support from the Royal well. Pharmacy. Yeah. They are there to help us as well and guide us if we, if we reach that stage. Yeah. So it's never the end of the world. We always learn. Yeah. And to reach that mountain, sometimes you have to go through. Um, there's a bump that helps to reach the um, top of the peak. So, yeah. so, so if you didn't make it this time, <laughs> yeah. you know, don't lose hope. Be Contact positive. us. We're there to help you. Contact Hala. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're and there to help you. We're going to support uh, you. We all sometimes fail in some points, and we're there to help every single person that failed to make it through. Yeah. Well, and I keep my words. You know that. Yeah, do. you do. <laughs> you do keep your words. So, yeah. um, another thing, or the final question. Yeah. Which I know, I, I know you didn't expect this, yeah. but can I ask you one question? Yeah. Can you describe Hala in one sentence? One sentence. <laughs> um, I love what I do. I'm motivated, positive, challenging, and ambitious. And what I want to say, the last sentence to, to, to just end it up, um, I take every opportunity with a smile and other opportunities come my way. And before we end it, I have one question for you. Oh, I know no, you have is, been this hosting is, this me. This is my show, I'm hosting you, you can't Yeah, ask me but I thought like I need a question. Oh, okay. So can you describe yourself in two words? <laughs> in two words only. Two words. Yeah. Positive energy. See, thank Positive you very much. Positive energy, that's it. So before we end, <laughs> um, we need to take some comments. More questions, do you want to take some questions? Some comments from, from anyone who have any comments, if you have okay, any comments. Let's see if any of the viewers just have in case, any questions. So that then. we'd like to forward. What's the secret of your success? Okay. Okay, so the first question we have is, what's the secret of your success? I'm going to pass that on to Hala <laughs> first. <laughs> no, it was asked for you. <laughs> Who's it addressed for? Okay. okay. So I can answer, it's fine. Uh, normally what we do is to succeed, as I said, is we work hard, which as you said, and mm. always connect yourself with a supportive network. Yeah. And having a good team. So for today, this session to happen, we had one, two, three, four behind the camera, and yeah. me and you. So nothing happens on your own. You need to have those people that support you, and you support them back when they need you. And I think right. so that's the way forward, give and take. Give and take, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the same. Um, for me, my secret to success is really, first of all, people. Yeah. I think you're in a business of the more people you can respect, the more people you can connect with, then the more success you're going to have. So the first thing is make sure that you have the people's skills and you develop those skills. Yeah. And then the second thing is hard work. <laughs> right? I agree. You need to work. You have to work to so get what hard you and just yeah. make that sacrifice. And that's the one thing that's apparent yeah. is that we work hard and yeah. you know we like and there's people. There's nothing impossible. Yeah. Nothing's <laughs> impossible. So um, let's see any other questions. Before we uh, end, oh, okay then. Okay. okay. Yeah. So. A few more. One second. A few more. Before we go. No. Okay. So. Okay. Well. All right. where, where did you get your suit from? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice question. Where did I get my suit from? Now you're advertising. Yes. Yeah. Slip. <laughs> Well, this is from Next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's not from Gucci or one of yeah. those shows. But yes, yeah, from Next. Could you do a session or give advice on people just starting their pre-reg now? What newly pre newly pre-reg students should try and do to succeed? I'm assuming in, in that year. Well, as Hala said, we're here to help. That I'll be very happy, more than happy, to do anything to support pre pharmacy, support pre-regs. That's what we do. So I'm more than happy to do that. And Hala, if you want to collaborate on this, but yeah, we can yeah, we can. We can. We um, there is a network as well for uh, newly qualified. I mean, um, pre-regs. There's few lots of platforms. There is, uh, what are the names, uh, Pro Farm, yeah. uh, RPS, 
Uh, who else? I just teamed team up with Team Pre-Reg. Team, team Pre-Reg, Pre I'll be doing a lot of sessions. Um, there is few, few there. We're happy to give you the links uh, later on, on the mm. uh, comments. So we can send you the teams that you need to right. um, gather with. And, and we can do a session as well. Yeah, for pre yeah. There you are. We're going to do a smashing <laughs> session. <laughs> powerful Perfect. motivation. Make you take it to the next level. Is that all? Any more? No? Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. So <laughs> that's it for now. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you thank for you. watching. Thank you, Hala. You've been a fantastic guest. And <laughs> bye like, to bye everyone. Bye. We're waving to you. I'm from the team here. <laughs> Say bye to everybody. Bye. And all the best, guys. See you yeah, soon. Bye. bye. bye.